everyone, Amy Love here, and I just wanted to come on and show you what I have been working on. I am loving these, and they're kind of like, uh, they could be like tuck pockets and journals. Um, the tutorial I watched was on Abby's channel, my sweet friend Abby, who is Purple Cottage Crafts, and I have a link to her channel below. Um, she made these to gift tea bags in, or the little Ghirardelli uh, chocolate squares. So I just think they're stinking adorable. So they just open up like this. And here's your little pocket and it will hold a tea bag, no problem. I'm sure it'll hold that chocolate too, but I had recently gave up sugar. So I don't put chocolate in the house or it will get eaten. <laughs> like really trying to hold, hold steady. But if you would like to see um, uh, you know, how to make the base, uh, you can see that tutorial on Abby's channel. And I'll make sure to link that video before. But um, I did do a little process about how I um, decorated mine. So if you'd like to see, stick around. And if you want to see more of these types of videos, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Thanks, everybody. So here are the bases I made following um, Abby's tutorial. And I did go ahead and ink all of the edges before um, I got started on this video. And now I'm going to use my crocodile. And what you will find is I'm not actually very handy with the thing. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know. I've never been able to master the use of my crocodile or there's just something wrong with it. Anyway, I used it to poke two holes at the bottom. And then I ordered these little... Um, I don't even know what you call them. Yes, I'm on top of things today. But these eyelets, all right, these little pink eyelets that I bought in, you know, hopes of mastering my crocodile at some point. I thought they would be cute to add a little sentiment bead to the bottom of these, which it really is adorable. I just wish I was uh, <laughs> better at it. So I get it poked through the hole and I put the little ring on the back and then you're supposed to simply use your crocodile to squeeze it. Um, you know, sounds simple enough, but for whatever reason, I, I, it seems like I have to squeeze too hard or I'm just squeezing it too hard and I always warp it. It always, instead of a circle, kind of ends up ovalish because I've just squeezed the heck out of it. But anyway, I keep trucking on to <laughs> put the other one in. I mean, I love the way, are they eyelets or grommets? I don't know. I like the way they look on a project, so I'm not going to give up trying. And I do have them in a couple different colors, but, you know. So I finally do get them on, and they are cute, even though they're squished. They're in there. And then I have um, some Baker's Twine that I am going to use, and um, I'm going to use two strands because I kind of like the way it looks with two strands going through the bead. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cut that in half and then I tie a knot in the middle and I'm gonna try to hide that middle knot inside the bead. And now to pick the word bead and thread it. I love these little word beads. I don't use them enough. I'm trying to get into my stash and use all those things I've been hoarding, so. Here's to using those word beads, finally. <laughs> so I'm just gonna thread it through and then I'm just gonna tie it in a knot on the back. And I'm not even gonna cover it up because I just think it looks cute inside the little card to see that twine um, tied in a knot right there. I mean, you could most certainly cover it if you wanted to with some paper or whatever. But I think it's cute. I just love these. And that is lemon craft paper I used. Who doesn't love lemon craft paper? I am also trying to use up the paper I've been hoarding. I'm on a mission. So there it is, super cute. If you wanted to, you could uh, tack that bead down with some glue, but you, you, know, you don't need to. It depends on how tight you've tied your twine. 
So I cut a coordinating uh, piece of paper from the same paper pad and I'm going to pop it up on just a little bit of dimensional tape. And I did distress and ink the edges of it as well. But there's a step I should have done before I taped this down, which you'll see after I tape it down and I realize what I've done. So at this point, you'd want to go ahead and add your little ribbon ties. But I did not do that on this one. But that's okay, we're gonna make it work. Just fits right on there, how cute is that? Love it. And I distressed everything with the uh, vintage photo. That's what I use on everything. And now I've realized what I've done. So I'm cutting the ribbon <laughs> and trying to figure out if I can slide it in there. If I put some glue on it, will it slide in there? I think we're gonna make it work. And we do make it work, it wasn't that bad. Because once you put that double-sided tape down, you're not getting that back up. So I had to squish it, squish it in and push it in a little bit with my scissors. But we made it. There we go. It's in. And now I'm gonna glue it to the back also, but then on the back I cover up the ribbon with just a flat flower. Because if you're gonna put this in a journal, you're not gonna see the back anyway, but if you were gonna gift it, because I thought these would really be nice like thank you cards, and then you could also send somebody a bag of tea too. I just think they're cute. They just have so many, so many ways you can use them, they're adorable. So I'm gonna use a flower to cover that up in the back since I'm probably gonna gift mine out instead of sticking them in a journal. And I'll just tie right up. Now I use this really thin ribbon, but when you see Abby's tutorial, she used um, some other uh, fibers and things and they all work great. Oh my goodness, can you hear my dog? He has found something outside. So I had a little bit of this cheesecloth I put down as a base and I have these, I love these lace, um, like they're canvas covered in lace hearts that I got at Hobby Lobby in the wedding section. I love them. They're super cute. And they come in two different sizes, I think. And I just, I, I do, I love them. I've been using them a lot, but you know, I love hearts on everything. Now this beautiful flower I'm putting down now, somebody actually handmade those and gifted them to me. And for the life of me, I don't remember who it was, but if you're watching, thank you. I love them. I used the last of them up today making these. And then I just used two other um, paper flowers from my stash. and they were just the perfect shades to match. Because I'm also trying to use up my paper flowers. Oh, I have so many things that just need to get used already. And then I thought this really needs a bow. So I dug through all my tiny bows and I found these, which I think are just perfect for this. And really, that's all it needed. Everything's better with bow. And how cute would this be, like as a card or to just as a gift or in a journal? Adorable. Adorable. It just opens up and you can slide, slide your treat right in. So I hope you all enjoyed this little process video. I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to check out Abby's tutorial below, and I'll see you all in the next one.